non-linearity in fiber optics. If we have a single light wave and pass it through two different mediums, we will observe the phenomenon on the left side. If we increase the angle of incidence I, R becomes closer to 90 degrees and eventually reaches it. This is known as the critical value. So what happens if we increase I even more? Total internal reflection. This is exactly what happens inside the fiber optic. So if we input a signal from one end of the fiber, it will be reflected across the boundaries of the fiber optic and reach the other side. If we try this for different values of power, we will expect that the relationship for P out and P in is linear. However, this is only true for low intensity values. For higher intensity values, it is not linear. This is known as the Kerr effect. But why does this happen? This this happens because the properties of the refractive index changes for higher intensities where the refractive index n is equal to the speed of light in air divided by the speed of light in the medium which in this case is the fiber optic one effect of non-linearity in fiber optic is cell phase modulation where the signal experiences a non-linear phase delay which results in the pulse's frequency changes so is cell phase modulation good or bad? On the one hand, the performance of the signal decreases and the noise increases. However, it is used in optical signals where the pulses of lights are short and intense, such as lasers and optical fiber communication systems.